yeah, 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 yeah. Gone on you with the pick and roll. Younger flame here in sickle mode. Yo, what's happening, DNA fam? It's your boy, DJ. It's your boy, AJ. And we are the DNA Show. Today, we're at Project Blitz down in LA. And I've always had this question for myself and you as well, and the people. So we have all the college fours here. And I've always been interested, how do you rank this shoe? So we're going to give our ranking. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's go least favorite to favorite. OK, OK. We can do that. We're from Oregon. But my least favorite is the white four. White four. Yeah, I, don't, I think the lifespan is very short on this shoe. And once the neck gets yellow, it's a wrap for this kid. So this is my least favorite. My least favorite, the Marquette slash Cal, whatever you may call it. Tell them about that. The reason why I don't like it is because people are confused between is this a Cal or a Marquette sneaker. Both schools got the shoe, but they never put the school logo on the shoe. Every other shoe got the school logo on it. So they kind of gave them the shaft and didn't give them their best effort when it came to them getting a sneaker just because they were on Jordan Brand. Looks like they can be a general release essentially. Basically, yeah. Okay. The leather, I don't, it doesn't really look that nice at all. So number four for me is the same sneaker um, for the exact reason. And I feel like this could be a general release. I mean, yeah, that's, yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. Okay. And then my number four is the Oregon four. The white basketball for i just think the other colorway is a little bit more unique and i'm not really a big white sneaker fan so it makes my foot look huge all right so let's go for number three my third would be the georgetown even though this is a fire shoe i think the other two are just a little bit better yes um just like my boy chase was saying once these crack it's a wrap for these kids that's not necessarily a bad thing i feel like if you have a ds pearson on ice in the next 10 years you're definitely going to be sitting on a gym with this kid so that's number three for me. My number three, same exact shoe as well. Like you said, these two shoes, they're just a little bit better. I do like the colorway. I do like the design. The materials are very, very nice. But uh, besides from that, yeah, it's a solid shoe. And I'm actually excited to hear what your number one and number two is because I already know what mine is. Okay, so for number one, it's out of these two joints here. Number two, what's it gonna be? Uh... Commercial. Are you suffering from pungent pits? Beastly butt odor? How do you stop the stink? A spray your butt, A spray your feet, A spray under your arms. You can even A spray your privates. No bacteria, no stink. Call an order right now before you stink up the place. So I'm gonna have to go with the UNC as my number two. If you don't have a preference of schools up here, I feel like most people are gonna go for the UNC. Uh, I know all the Oregon heads are gonna go for the black Oregon. And I know a lot of sneaker heads are gonna go for the black Oregon, mm -hmm. but aesthetically, the UNC is the best looking shoe, but it's number two. Number two, I'm gonna have to go with the same exact one, the UNC four. This back tab, insane. Everything about it, insane. But we're Oregon boys, we're from Oregon. The school, everything about it. Saying that the Oregon four was the number one shoe, I think it's gotta be just because it was the first one that came out of the college series. So it's kind of hard to beat. Definitely. Remember that one picture is the Oregon four and the, the Oregon, the Oregon four and the Oregon three with well, the helmet yep, on the field. On the turf, yes. That's been my screensaver on my laptop Bruh, since college. Years. Fire, fell in love with this sneaker. Uh, the, my only disposition with the shoe is the fact that the back tab cracks. That's one thing that most people who own a pair right. say that they don't like about the shoe, but overall the leather quality is crazy. I'm not really one that prefers contrast on the netting, but looks clean. It's a dope look. Oregon Ford. Yo, especially one. with some black laces, rocking these, pretty fire. And it's kind of weird too, like you were talking about on the back tab. When it gets cold, it starts to bubble up and it doesn't separate, but it bubbles up behind the paint. And then when it warms back up, it gets back smoothing. And so, like you can see it's chipping a little bit right here. Mm -hmm. It's a tough thing when you rock this shoe, when you got jeans or something on, so you always gotta be careful about it. But yeah, this is our number one sneaker of these, what, five pairs here of the Jordan 4 College Series. What is yours? Please comment down below. We're very interested to hear what you have to say. Please rank them in the comments. Don't forget to tag, hashtag DNA fam. Shout out to Project Blitz. What else we gotta say? Man, I know we have some more fours coming. We have 
more Jordan colleges every single year. There's Oklahoma. more fours. Oklahoma. Yeah. Uh, they didn't make it in Michigan four. Michigan. Yeah. Um, it's about to be, I mean, it's essentially the same colorway. So I don't know what else they'll do for the four. They'll probably just do like a brown sweat. Yeah. Brown. Yep. <laughs> Navy blue suede on them. That'd be fire. So let us know what you're looking forward to. What's your top? And, and get at us. Let's have a conversation in the comments. And let's get it. And, uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jack.